What's up guys, it's Sergio Dexia and welcome back to Survival Madness Adventures, made on creative and played on survival and on last episode we finally defeated that tree monster and we have now got Toxic Jolt back in action. And if I look behind me, you've got this little meerkat, come here meerkat, come here Ozzy, come here. <gasps> <gasps> Oh god, I nearly swallowed my own spit. That was very but ugh, that was disgusting. Oh hello Toxic, how are you doing? Are you having a really good time being back, Mr. Good Elf, should I say? Good Elf, he's giving me mushrooms so I can call him the Good Elf. And uh, Blue Beast, that isn't your shoes. What are you doing? Wearing different shoes. You're very weird. I think you're just having a weird time. Anyway, guys, to, as you can tell, we are preparing for Halloween. But we need your guys' suggestions. So leave in the leave in the comment section below what you think we should do for Halloween as well. Like as you can see, we're in a massive makeover. The big Zeppelin over there is orange, and also Rebelcraft has left me some stuff to wear. So I also put them on blood pumpkin orange helmet, bone white chest plate, and death black leggings and blood red boots. So let me put them on. Okay, there we go. So this is my Halloween outfit. Okay. Probably won't be permanent, but there your toxic's like, nah, you look awful. But again, guys, we need to see oh, Bruno's back. Bruno! I'm not talking to you. Fine, fine, Bruno. But um I'm Blue Beast, I'll talk to you. Blue Beast, come, come. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him, Blue Beast. No, don't feel bad. No. Yeah, Bruno, you sit right there, Mr. Bruno. But anyway, guys, we're preparing. Who is trying to be you imposter? Who are you? Who is it? Who is that? Who is that? You naughty Aussie, you can. That's, come here. But what? But what? You naughty, naughty little meerkat. But we need to see what Sir Minecraft guy is doing today before we go on a little showcase adventure and uh, we talk about Halloween because Halloween is the best time of year for me personally. I absolutely love Halloween and that's why we're taking Survival Madness Adventures to the next limit by having everything Halloween. And uh, <laughs> sadly, we'll have to change it back as well. Whoop. So, Mi so, Minecraft guy, what are you doing? You think, you think it's okay, dear, to start hitting your bone on the walls, dear? Huh? 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 What are you doing? Are you have you changed? Are you trying to tell me that you've decorated? Are you trying to tell me that you you're in the mid process? <gasps> I thought that was like a whoa! Look at that! What is that? Is that your face in there? To be honest, it looks like you. I think it's quite similar, doesn't it, Sir Minecraft guy? It does. Uh, Blue Beast, what are you doing, you silly? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's what it was, you. Silly things. Anyway, so looks like you're having a makeover, and uh, something different about this picture here. It's really different about this picture. What is that? What? Why is it moving? Uh, stupid Aussie! You didn't. You thought you could get me twice on that, didn't you? Silly things. Anyway, everybody, follow me because we're gonna have a nice little talk about Halloween and what we're gonna do. As I know, you're probably thinking, what? You haven't got Cemento. What? You haven't got Ant Killer. What? You haven't got Queen Camelot. Well, basically, guys, we are looking to find out where they are. We still need your help. Now, the parasites, they're showing up every now and then. And by the seams of it, that every parasite we find, there seems to be a new captured person. Now, we're getting intel that Queen Camelot is actually officially captured by a new enemy. Not a parasite enemy, a new enemy. And we're also getting intel that Ant Killer is somewhere located in the desert. And uh, Cemento, no one knows where Cemento is, and uh, I don't, I don't quite know where he is at all. I think we'll find out where Cemento is shortly, because uh, you know Cemento is a dolphin, and it tends to be the way where they cry so much that they, uh, they have supersonic sound waves, and we might be able to pick up on them things. But before we continue explaining about Halloween, do you guys mind dropping that like button? It helps a lot and continues to motivate me to do survival madness adventures every single day for you guys. And also, if you're enjoying the series and you're new here, maybe you want to subscribe by watching the rest of this video. So, Sir Minecraft guy. Could you please jump down here, you pestering little naughty thing? I'm going to throw you some mushrooms down here. Here you go. Mushroom, mushroom. Okay. Actually, only one of them has stew in it. <laughs> and let's talk about the... Um <laughs> Let's talk about the changes. So this is the mermaid uh, fashion show. We've changed it to one of the uh, horrible evil skins. We might be able to do a ninja jump. And that's what it looks like now. There's a big transition. So this is Halloween Lane, I should call it, to be honest with you. We will play some mini games on Halloween and especially have an opening day where you guys can come in. We won't record it, but you guys can actually come in and play on these mini games as much as we do. Like every, I think it's Friday, we have games open and you guys can join and play mini games. So also Crypticraft's... Um, What's it called? Uh, oh, I liked how silly me. It's also been changed. All the patterns down here. The uh, the sand game, the egg is like a giant pumpkin with teeth. Um, with the sand game has been changed to like 
uh, I don't know, really, no, it's like a pit of evil. Um, Queen Camelot's house has been changed, probably under, not with her consent, because she's actually been captured and she isn't here. Half of it's okay, half of it isn't, but we are going to go over the top. Now, this is something that is very impressive, to the point, in order to keep memory of Halloween, we're gonna, we've changed the Nitrolute DX Casino, and it's been changed to this. Look at that absolutely epic that is so scary the casino will permanently stay that even after halloween in remembrance of the transition to change into halloween and look at this as well all the steve heads hello steve i, I don't know why steve why did you kiss me that's your you're weird <laughs> i kiss steve la, 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 la. anyway <laughs> uh, let's go check the remainder of down at halloween lane so we go down here and again we're all changing stuff so leave your suggestions down below in the comments so we know what's changing if, if we use any of your ideas it give you a good chance to get yourself in the hall of adventures and jake will be picking the hall of adventures member today won't you mr sir minecraft guy so you will be picking them uh, this is also if we look here the big lovely teddy bear Whee! It's got orange eyes and the pig looks a little bit ugly. I have to say whoever came up with a pig idea It looks like it's got a contagious chicken pot condition or it's been stabbed by a pestering amount of mosquitoes And it's a it's really in a lot of pain uh, this thing again We're thinking about probably changing this to blue to orange and stuff But again, whatever gets changed has to be changed back and that could be a very hard mission for ourselves But we are survival madness adventures and we try and strive to be adventurers so uh, if we look over here, we've got the Pac-Man minigame, which has got orange and stuff. We've got TNT, which is orange. We've got the flags on the school, which have got a change of colour. I don't quite know what purple is all about. Oh, by the looks of things as well. Um, hmm, what's this? Why has this been destroyed? Huh? Huh? Who's destroyed this? Was this you, Toxic? Yeah, you naughty little elf. Every time you're naughty, I'm going to call you naughty. Naughty little elf. Okay, ah, oh, he gave me mushroom now. You're good, little elf. You good, little elf. You. And also, one of the buses over here has changed. And actually, I want to go inside that. That is really cool. Can we go inside that? Is it possible? Can we go inside? Woo! That's quite cool. Look at this. This is actually quite new. I think it's smaller than the yellow one, but this would be quite interesting to do a couple of Halloween episodes. Like, we're thinking about doing some really, like, as soon as, like, the week before Halloween, we're going to do, like, seven days of spooky stories or something like that. Like, completely irrelevant from what's going on and just, like, completely make up them and just be completely random. Like, probably someone will die or perish or some Minecraft guy will eat everybody. I don't know. We'll come up with some really spooky stories. Oh, yeah. Toxic is like show mine show mine <laughs> it looks like that actually looks like toxic in real life anyway that looks like him when he's got <laughs> it's when he's got his mouth open <laughs> he's trying to hit me run <laughs> he's not happy with that. oh wow he's actually trying to get me. is he still after me no i don't think he's after me anymore <laughs> that's toxic when he's like all crazy when he looks like a naughty little elf that is what toxic looks like a little thing going no I want mushroom. Do you want mushroom, Toxic? Here, have some mushroom. <laughs> anyway, that's quite funny. So, we're getting out to the end of Halloween Lane at the at the at the at the at the at the, at the, at the I don't know why I'm stuttering. Uh, the little I'm I don't know why I'm pretend stuttering. This is just not making anything sound cooler. But the mushrooms also orange and black, and then you know the pink. The pink, the orange and black wall on the floor ends down there. But we're still in the transition. And I thought I'd let you guys know that we're very, very keen to do Halloween stuff and get you guys involved as well. So I tell you what, what we'll do is what you guys can do. We're running back to my house now, guys. Everybody, let's run back to my house. Okay, wow, what was that? Oh, he's firing arrows. Who's firing arrows? No, come here, toxic. That's it. Come here. Naughty little silly elf. That's it. Go into your hole. Go, be eaten by yourself. Go eat. Go, fly into its mouth. Go, fly into its mouth. Go, fly. No, I don't want to fly. You fly into its mouth right now, Toxic. Or oh, that bring will burn down. There you go. He's pretending he's eating. Like, mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's disgusting. Anyway. <laughs> So we're running back to my house right now to explain further about what you guys can do to get involved in the Halloween special or the specials because it's going to be seven spooky stories. Now, you guys can leave in the comment section below a story of or not even a story, just put a suggestion or something like a like a, a hint or something that we should do like it's completely irrelevant meaning in English terms for you kids so that you can understand what I'm saying meaning that it's not actually it's like a story so it's not actually to do with survival madness adventures of course it's to do with it but it's not in the story or anything it's just a complete 
off spin episode like each episode like it won't be related but it will be like something that happens so let me know in the comment section below what ideas you guys have and if we use absolutely any of them even if some of you guys have the exact same idea then we can go put you guys in the hall of adventures but so far this is um pretty much an information video for you guys because halloween is something very very important to us and we love it every single one of survival mammas madness adventures people loves halloween to death get what i said there get it to death <laughs> sometimes i think my silly jokes i don't know if any of you guys laugh at my silly jokes i sometimes think i'm a bit crazy but um as well uh, we i think queen camelot's quite halloweeny over there if you look oh there's actually <laughs> the scissors okay i won't explain what's going on there um Oh, tomato ketchup everywhere. What do you expect? And the nutcracker. Oh, look, tomato ketchup. Mm -hmm. I love tomato ketchup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's quite good. I think we should also change the heart to like a black heart and stuff. But we're always looking for doing things differently. So I think, again, this has been quite a good little episode where you guys can get involved in Halloween. Also, massive announcement. Should have probably announced it well early on. But if any of you guys are still watching the video, I know you guys are going to love what I'm going to say. Literally brace yourself i even can tell that you're going to be like mouth open gorming if you've got a friend next to you you'll be staring at him and be like oh my 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 my, my, my. like start stuttering okay listen up i have got a new series coming out right today so you're probably watching this video at whatever time it is in england it will be 3 p.m my time okay which is gmt now i can guarantee this is the coolest announcement that i've been able to make i will be making a new series called Hero Brian's Magical Spoon. Okay, you're probably thinking, what a crazy name. It is the first, most original thing that has ever come out on Minecraft to date. Okay, and it is all evolved around you. Every single bit of it. Now, this is an interactive adventure map, meaning it never ends. It's always changing. There's different things every time. And the companions, meaning the subscribers, have to get involved in every episode. Now, we have a different set of companions. Yes, that's correct. Here, Ryan. We have a different set of companions every single episode. Now, that comes out today. So, if you're still watching this video by this time, make sure to wait till a little couple of hours after when this was released or something. It probably might even be released by now. But it's called Hero Brian's Magical Spoon. Don't miss it. I'm serious. Don't miss it because it's something very, very exclusive to my channel and exclusive to the whole of Minecraft. And if you do enjoy it, let me know that you've come over from this episode to that episode and it will be really exciting. I will be announcing it again tomorrow's episode. Hero Brian's Magical Spoon, the first interactive adventure map exclusive to Nitro Loot DX. Share it. Do whatever you guys can do because this is going to be so, so epic. And I'm so excited to be able to show it to you. It comes out every Tuesdays every thursdays and it's always different subscribers i cannot do a video on my heart without subscribers in it and it's different subscribers every video so it's really interactive with you guys so again ending this video we're gonna go to the hall of adventures so see you guys okay guys welcome back to the hall of adventures and yes i did flash actually it's only because someone decided to kill me on the way Blame Sir Minecraft guy. No, I'm not doing it. I'm joking. I'm joking. But no, it was quite funny. But nonetheless, I did the flash simply because there's so much went on just there. It was not worth showing. But anyway, we're out. Actually, let me start again. Welcome back to the Hall of Adventures. I did do the flash there simply because I'm lazy. I just didn't want to work there. Anyway, we're outside Cemento. Poor Cemento is still not back in the series at the moment because he's still captured by Dr. Forehead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we're outside Cemento, so let's go and add the next person to the Hall of Adventurers. And, ooh. Okay, and the person to be added to the Hall of Adventurers is... Leah Cartmill. Congratulations, Leah Cartmill, and the reason why you have been added to the Hall of Adventurers is because of the story on screen now. Here's the story. Once there was an elf that was stuck in a cage, then the brave warrior Nitro Luke came to the save the day. He had to go inside the tree's tummy up to its heart and punched it. Then the tree burned down. I guess you could say it had a heartburn. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> so the cage lowered down and Nitro Loot DX saved the day. Can I be added in Cemento? Well, that's a really nice story of you, but don't forget the amazing Blue Beast and Ozzy and Sir Minecraft guy that also helped me save the day. But I do like the joke. 
we can say heartburn. I have to say I clap to you and that is definitely a good reason for you to be added to the Hall of Adventurers. So again, thank you for being added. And guys, if you thought the video was good, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, guys, have a good day. Goodbye.